I'm Kitty. And I'm Jennifer. And we're the O'Neill Sisters. And we're going to show you how to turn a t-shirt into a scarf. You are not going to believe how easy it is to make these pretty scarves. They come together super fast. Let's get started. To get started, you need a t-shirt and some scissors. And we also have a template. And it's a 7-inch circle. That's all you need. And the first thing we're going to do with the t-shirt is cut out some really big, the biggest panels we can out of the front and the back. So I'm just going to lay this down and start cutting. We actually, when we were looking for shirts, we actually paid attention to the size that we picked out because we wanted a bigger shirt to get yes. more fabric. So we got an it's extra little, large, I it's think. It's a little trick. A little tip to get more fabric out of it. Uh, these scissors are the best, by the way. These are um, like ergonomic scissors where you press down and they rebound. They're, they're kind of like for arthritis sufferers or people who have trouble with their hands or if you're just using scissors a lot these, you are, cut great. A lot, yeah, these are great they're really great and this t-shirt that we bought it isn't just cotton it's not just a regular t-shirt we actually felt the fabric and what we were looking for is fabric that's really really soft and it has a little bit of stretch to it yes. um, it's kind it's of bouncy springy yeah springy we noticed when we tried this with a regular t-shirt a cotton t-shirt the, the, um, the strips end up rolling, like the edges roll, and they also pill. So yeah, some t-shirts, if you have like an athletic shirt, mm -hmm. the thicker, um, like maybe a brand name football shirt or t-shirt or something, when you cut those, you get these little um, they get, loops or half yeah. circles of fabric come off of there. So it doesn't yes, have a nice edge. It doesn't work. But this this fabric is super thin and soft. has a much nicer this edge. This has, I believe it's rayon. And a rayon. little bit, it's mostly rayon, a tiny yeah. bit of spandex. A little bit of spandex. So. so now we've got the front panel cut out. And next I'm just going to cut out the back panel. And then we'll show you how to stack it to cut it into the scarf. So we cut the shirt up into front panel and back panel, and then we cut all those panels into seven inch squares. And basically to do that, I just took the circle template and held it on and cut little squares out. So they're not perfectly square, but I can get a circle out of each one of these squares. And we'll have that circle template on our website yes. at runningwithsisters.com. And we actually got eight panels out of that shirt, so I've got them stacked four and four. And it's actually amazing, depending on the type of shirt that you get, you can, you can get more squares out of certain yes. shirts. Like this was a swing top. Kind of a big, wide yeah. shirt. So that's how, we, and we bought an extra large, so how we got eight out of it. Yeah, that's great. But you could buy two of the same shirt yeah. if you don't think you're going to get that many panels out of it. So we got these stacked up so that when I cut, I'm going to cut four at a time. When I cut through this, I'm going to get four circles out of this. And I found it was easiest to cut by just keeping this flat on the table and going around like this. So I've got the scissors on the table. Everything's held still that way. We tried doing this with the fabric and squares pinned together um, and it just doesn't help. It, it doesn't it help. Was more troublesome than it was worth. Yeah, it's easier to kind of control the, the fabric and keep yes. it in place by pressing it down on, on a table. It works much better. And then I'm just rotating it yeah, that's just making it easier to just cut, easier to cut. The, the angle of your hand and yes. all that. It helps to have extra sharp scissors for these for the stack of the four. Definitely. And trying to do eight at once, we tried that, and it's too hard to keep um, a straight line or yeah. a, to not get little nicks. Exactly. It gets caught on itself yeah. a little bit. The, these circles don't have to be perfect because you'll see that once it's made into the scarf, it has a lot of movement and flow, and so you can't really see what the edges look like all that much. It means it's a great craft to do with, you know, like teenage girls yes. or a girls' night, you know, where you can have wine and not have to worry about it being perfect. Exactly. So you can see there I've got four circles. They're all stacked up together, and I'm just going to keep them together like this, and now I'm going to cut this into a spiral. So I'm going to start over here. And I'm going to cut about three quarters of an inch mm -hmm. wide all the way around. And I'm just going to keep rotating it and cutting until I get to the center. This is very similar to a craft we did as kids. I don't know if you've ever tried it at home, but you can do it with paper and then you pull it and it makes like a, a the spiral. spiral thing. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to rotate it around. And this is another reason why it's better just to do it on the table. This would get all fall apart if you tried to pick it up or pin it together. Yeah, and you'd have a hard time getting it back lined up. 
Yes, this way the edges all stay lined up together. I'm just cutting that. And again, spiral. it doesn't need to be perfect at all. It's it's all going to have so much movement and be layered, so it's not going to matter. It's very forgiving. Yes. All right, just got a couple more to go here. Another reason why um, we looked for fabric that was thin and soft and had that little bit of springiness to it is that it's easier to layer and cut. I mean, if it's you're thin. using a real thick fabric, a thick cotton or something, you'll have a terrible time. Hard to cut through that many yeah. layers. You could maybe do it if you did two layers yeah. at a time. Almost to the center. Looking good. See, the spiral's kind of lost here, but that was essentially a spiral going in. I would just keep cutting in this. I'm just going three quarters of an inch away from the right side all the way around. It gets a little harder when you get to the center. <laughs> just a little bit. Just but, a little. But it, it doesn't have to be perfect, so. There we go. And then this will be my last cut. I'm just going to go around here. Very good. Like that. Rotating it as I go. Up you to there. You can see it's spiraling. And I'm just going to leave that little circle there at the end. And what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to set this aside, and I'm going to repeat with the other four panels. Same thing. If you're not able to get eight squares out of your fabric, six works really well, or as Kitty said, you can buy a second shirt, you know, use yes. two of the same shirt. You could also mix colors together yeah. and do four panels from one shirt and four panels from another. Yeah, and then alternate them, we'll show you. And then we're... have a two color scarf would be fun. And you could also do this with printed Oh yeah, like a leopard print would be really fun. Yes. Or zebra. I've got a little extra piece here. I'm just going to straighten that little edge out. Yeah, if you get any um, edges or little pointy parts, you can just trim them off as you go. You can also do that at the end. Yeah. But it, you'll see it really kind of doesn't matter that yeah, much. Yeah, it doesn't matter much. But now we've got our four circles here. And then again, I'm just going to cut the spiral about three quarters of an inch wide. Finish that spiral on around. This is a super fun upcycle project too. It I is. love the idea of reusing a shirt that you may not love anymore. Yes. So now we've got four spirals cut out of that one. This is four spirals also. And I'm going to find the center. I'm going to take this long ways like this. Find the center here. Yeah. And do the same with this one. Pull the ends down even. Are those even? No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've got one. We we found one that broke. That might happen to you. You can save that off to the side. Yeah, just so pull it to the side. One casualty got cut. That's all right. That's all right. So now we've got these guys. I'm going to take these, put, put them together there, pinching at the end, or the middle, and these are the ends down here. And I'm just going to tie a knot. This will kind of hold the whole hold scarf the whole together. Thing together. And now we get to fluff it apart. Do you want to do some yeah, fluffing? Yeah, this is the most fun part. You're basically just going to separate the little pieces from each other because they want to stick to each other. And you can yeah. see they naturally have sort of a curve to them because you cut a circle out of each piece. It makes it look really roughly. And that's our roughly scarf, which ended up with six panels instead of eight. But which that's okay. Fine. It's just fine. We're wearing our finished scarves, and you can see they turned out great. They're really ruffly and springy. And soft. And ours are about waist length, and that's the seven inch circle that made it waist length. If you want it longer, you could make a bigger circle. Let us know if you make one. We'd love to hear from you. Happy crafting. Mm -hmm.